the click academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n equals 2016. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to set m equal to n plus k, k being a constant. Now, if this is true, then we also know that n is equal to m minus k. And k is a constant. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace m with n plus k. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of n plus k minus 2 to the power of n equals 2016. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of n plus m, this can also be written as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So 2 to the power of n plus k, this can be written as 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k. And we are still subtracting this with 2 to the power of n, and this is equal to 2016. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rewrite 2016 as 2 to the power of 5 times 63. And this is still equal to what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of n from this. So if I factor out 2 to the power of n, I get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of n is simply 2 to the power of k. And 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n is 1, so minus 1. So we get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1. And this is still equal to 2 to the power of 5 times 63. Now, as you can see, this is even. So I'm writing E for even. This is going to be odd. I'm going to write an O for odd. And this is odd because we're going to subtract 1 from the 2 to the power of k. This is 2 to the power of n. So any number that you plug in, this would be even because it's 2 to the power of something. And 2 is an even number. However, we're still going to subtract 1. So this is actually going to be odd. And now from this, remember, this is even. 2 to the power of anything will result in an even number, and 63 is odd. So I'm writing O for odd. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the evens equal to each other. So 2 to the power of n equals 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, because these two have the same bases, we know that the exponents are equal to each other, meaning n is equal to 5. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the odds equal to each other. So 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. So now if I add one on both sides, I get 2 to the power of k equals 63 plus 1 is 64. And what 2 to the power of what equals 64? 6. So k is equal to 6. So we know that m is equal to 
n plus k. So we already have the values for n and k. n is 5 and k is 6. Meaning m is equal to 5 plus 6, which is 11. So m is 11. So now we have our values for n and m. Back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 4 equals 64. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the fourth power on both sides. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 4. Now to the power of 4 equals 64 to the power of 4. So remember uh, a property of exponents is that if we have something a to the power of m to the power of n, this can actually also be written as a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4, this can also be written as x to the power of x to the power of 4 times 4. And this equals 64 to the power of 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to change this back into this form. However, now instead of saying x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4, I'm going to say x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. And this is still equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, 64 can actually be written as 8 squared. So 8 squared to the power of 4. And this is still equal to x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. Now, remember this property. If we have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So a to the power of 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to a to the power of 2 times 4, which is equal to 8 to the power of 2 times 4 is 8. So now I'm going to write this all here, x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 equals 8 to the power of 8. And if we actually have an equation in the form a to the power of a equals b to the power of b, this also means that a is equal to b. So right here, this equation is actually in the form a to the power of a equals b to the power of b. So a, in this case, x to the power of 4, equals b, 8. So now I'm going to write x to the power of 4 equals 8. So now we simply have a simple equation. So to cancel out this power, I'm going to take the root of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to positive or negative 8 to the 4th root. So this is our answer. Thank you.